My dear heart, <laughs> thank you very much for your letter of the 4th of March. Your letter is not too premature, as it is useful to have advance warning of any engagement which the Queen might be asked to undertake. It is, however, too premature for me to give you anything in the nature of a firm answer. As I think you know, it is the Queen's custom to consider her programme for any year during the preceding autumn. I would be most grateful, therefore, if you would write again about the possibility of Her Majesty opening the new concert hall complex on the South Bank in July or August of this year. I imagine that by then, the architect will have a clearer idea of when the building will, in fact, be finished. I fear I cannot at this stage give you any idea of whether or not the Queen will be able to accept an invitation to open this complex, but I can assure you that Her Majesty will give it her sympathetic consideration. Yours ever, Martin Charter. We did the concrete pouring slowly. We didn't rush it. We carefully monitored with torches, looking down inside the shutter as the concrete was placed in and vibrated. You had to be very careful with these heavy vibrators that you use in turning in concrete. If you got on the face of the shutter, you would take the markings of the sawn board off, and that is what they didn't want. On an ordinary wall, or on an ordinary shuttering, that didn't matter so much, but we had to be very, very careful on that. But it was a slow operation. My dear John, I'm just back from ten days of sun to find your nice letter. I shall be in London over this weekend, doing my first bit of work for three or four months. I gather that you live just round the corner from Peter's new house in Offord Road. You would not be free about tea time on Saturday to discuss your exciting plans, would you? It would be very nice to hear how everything is going. With best wishes, yours ever, 